You know what's so great about fishing? It's hanging out with your buddies. It's taking time out with your family. It's getting your fishing fix. Just you, the lake, and some open sky. Oh, oh, oh that's a beauty. Born in the heartland of America, South Bend has been making quality fishing tackle at real life prices for over a hundred years. And they're still doing it. That's why I love them. Whether you're a guy like me who loves to fish whenever I can, or you're just discovering the simple joy of fishing for the first time, bring South Bend along. You don't have to spend a lot to get a lot of what matters most. South Bend, a fishing tradition since 1906. Hey, Steve Worth, Outdoors First with an Outdoors First gear review. Today I'd like to show you the new PC Fun Backpack Fishing Bag. We just got this in a couple of weeks ago and I've already had it on a trip to Vermilion, used it quite a bit. It's a great bag. It's perfect for kayakers, canoeists, folks that like to shore fish, and for that matter, guys like me with a boat with limited room. I've got a 16 and a half foot boat. I don't have a lot of room for tackle boxes uh, disorganized and laying all over the place. This is my solution. On the side, there's a padded drink holder. You can put a bottle or a can in there and tighten it down so it'll stay in there. Up on the top, a sunglass holder. Main thing with a sunglass holder, I'll show you here. It's hardened, so you can put pressure on that and you're not gonna break those glasses. They're protected in there. The top zipper. Here gets you access into the main bag. Now that holds a lot of stuff. I've got a hat cam and a rag. I usually carry my extra sweatshirt in there as well. At the bottom of this, there's a divider. It's removable. So you can remove this divider or you can keep it in and lock it in, which I have done. So I keep gear on top and then in the, in the uh, compartment below, I'll show you in a minute what I have in there. On this side, again, we've got the drink holder. There's a very large pouch. There's a fabric uh, vented pouch down here. I carry my camera there. This is also padded here, so it'll protect the camera. I've got some line, some spinners, things like that in there. Plenty of room in that side compartment to carry a lot of gear. Going back to the front of the bag. This is kind of neat. It's not only a storage compartment if you want to store some stuff in there, but the main function of this is a workbench. So while I'm sitting on the dock here, I can put my lures, some spinner baits, whatever I'd like to work on, line, leader, anything else on there. It tightens down and it makes a little workbench. And that's really nice when you're in a, can a canoe, a kayak, or something like that, because there's not a lot of workable space and you can actually use the bag to, to take care of that. Main compartment here, boxes. Now, I've got four boxes in this. I prefer to carry mine vertically like that. You can also put them in this way, if you wish. Just like that. Fits a little tighter that way. And that's one of the reasons I like to have them vertically. vertically. They fit in there nice and tight. The boxes are very unique. They have slots in them, they're vented. So if you put a wet lure in that box, put it back in the bag, air will surround it and it'll dry it out and it won't rust. So these are really nice boxes. These are not the typical boxes that you'd see in a pack like this. Very well thought out. Going over to this side of the bag, this is a padded compartment as well. You know, mesh pocket there you can put some plastics or something like that in I carry my solar radio in this pocket I know it's protected it's very well padded it'll take a pretty good hit and it's a large enough pocket to carry a pretty big device it's a solar powered radio another side pocket identical to the one on the other side of the bag you got the mesh bag 
plastics, small box, etc. Again, plenty of room for your gear. On the back of the bag, and this is important, it's padded. So those who do a lot of walking in, um, going in on bodies of water and, and hiking in, this padding right here means all the difference in the world after about a 40 minute hike in the heat. This will take care of your back, it will take care of your arms, and won't beat you up. On the bottom of the bag, and this is really a nice feature, a little zipper there. Out comes a rain guard. What you do is once you have that out of that pocket, put it underneath the bag, pull it up over the top of the bag, like so. Get your side pockets all covered. And you now have a waterproof, splashproof bag during storms and rough water, things like that. Keep your gear nice and dry. So that's the PC Fun backpack fishing bag. If you own a canoe, a kayak, a boat with limited space, or just want really good tackle organization, this is the bag for you. Hi, my name is Tom Newstrom, and I've been a professional fishing guide for over 30 years and a member of the National Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame. Of those 30 years, 20 years I've been with Plano because they make some of the finest products on the market today. You know when you're traveling, space is limited, so you need to know what you're bringing is going to work. Traveling could be rough on your equipment, so what you bring it in has to be able to stand up to the punishment of travel. You know, whether you prefer soft storage or hard storage, there's a guide series product built for you. You know, when it comes to hard boxes, Plano's Guide Series has no shortage of options. Whether you like rack systems, drawer boxes, satchels, or tray boxes, with several different models available, it's easy to find a Guide Series box that matches your style of fishing. No matter which Plano tackle box you choose, you can be confident it'll last a lifetime. Let's take a look at these boxes a little closer. Like the 7771, it's got options galore. It has a large quick top access storage area. This is a great place to store that lucky lure and a few other must-haves, just in case it turns out to be not so lucky. There's a separate smaller lid to access the hanging bait rack without even opening the entire lid. This includes four CDS style stowaways. CDS stowaways feature Vera slant angled dividers to optimize your storage space, allowing for 20% more storage compared to a standard utility box. Included is a 3504 spinnerbait worm utility box with its own storage area. There's a large bulk storage area and a comfortable handle to boot. If rack systems aren't your style, they've got the 757 drawer box and the 1444 satchel and they'll both work equally as well. Let's start with the 757 drawer box. On a 757, there are two top access storage areas, great for holding your terminal tackle. It provides four large easy access drawers. A nice durable cover keeps the drawers in place. You know the 757 has more than ample bulk storage space. The 1444 has four layers of storage. Let me show them to you. It has storage under the DuraView cover and has unique adjustable storage area between the base and the lid. There are three removable spinnerbait racks in the base. The base is designed to hold up to five 3450 stowaway utility boxes or can be used for bulk storage. You know, Plano didn't just stop with hard boxes. They manufactured soft-sided boxes such as this, the 4672. It has all the storage you need, especially for a day trip or if you're going to fish in a buddy's boat for the day. The 
The 4672 is made of weather resistant fabrics that can take the punishment of being used on my boat every day. It holds four 3700 series size stowaway utility boxes, allowing you to quickly customize the bag for every fishing situation or technique. It has top access storage, large zippered side pockets, weather resistant zippers, padded shoulder strap, and a front pocket that holds a 3600 series stowaway utility box. All these features are also available in a 3600 series bag. Here's a couple features of the 4672 that you really don't see on a lot of other boxes. First, it's got the non-skid bottom, which is great in the boat, doesn't move around a lot. And then you've got the zipper pocket on the bottom that expands the bottom section so I can put another 3700 stowaway in the bottom. I mean, now you've got room for five boxes. There's nothing worse than getting your destination and finding your tackle all busted up. Plano's provided me with rod and reel cases that when I get to my destination, all my tackle is in perfect condition. Here's the 6508 that expands to eight foot to handle even the longest rods. and has a locking system so you can adjust it to any length you want. If you don't need as much room, the 45102 will work just perfect for you. Hey, you know, we got a lot of money invested in our reels. The Plano 1404 hard case protects all the reels I have from any damage they might incur. I've got five in here, but it holds eight really comfortably. Here's another great box that Plano has provided. It's the 1819 XXL storage trunk. I could take it on the airlines, or you know what? I can even ship it UPS. Look, I'm on the water over 100 days a year. I make a living fishing. I know good product when I see it, and Plano provides me with the very best so I can do my job the very best. If you're interested in buying one of these products, links to all the products mentioned in this video are in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.